Hello, and thanks for joining the Fond du Lac Public Library for another drawing lesson. The library is currently offering take and make gingerbread house kits that are available through curbside pickup, or you can pick them up yourselves when we're open on the weekends. With this kit, we hope to encourage some of our patrons to create their own gingerbread house and then enter that gingerbread house in our virtual contest. And because this opportunity arose, I thought this would be a good time to teach my friends how to draw their own gingerbread house. All right, friends, go ahead and grab yourself a piece of paper and put your paper horizontally or the long way and grab something to draw with, pencil, pen, or your crayon. I'm going to use my black marker again and I do have other markers set aside so I can add detail at the end. Okay, are you ready to make our gingerbread house? All right, so our gingerbread house is going to have a roof and that's what we're going to start with. So we want to go to the top of our paper and towards the middle and we're going to draw an upside down letter V, almost like a triangle. All right, so I'm gonna go in the middle of my paper towards the top and make a line going down, like it's going towards the corner of the bottom, and then another line going down, also going towards the corner. Okay. Looks good. This is our roof. The next thing we're going to add would be two candy canes on the end, on the sides of my house. So I'm going to make upside down letter J's. So watch how I do that. I'll start with this one and I'm going to go over and down and this top part is curved and then I go down. Okay, if you look, it kind of looks like, well this one looks like a backwards J. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start down and over, and I'm going to make it curved, and then down. All right, let's look at those J's. Do you see them? Looks like the letter J. Except it's our candy cane wall. Good. All right, now I want to draw the ground. I'm going to draw a straight line going across for the ground. Okay. If you want, you can grab something like a ruler or a book, something that has a straight edge. I'm just going to eyeball it, so it might not be perfect. There. And then I see that I have some gaps. I'm going to close those gaps. All right. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is make the other side of my candy cane. So it'll be the outside part of the candy canes. And to do that, I'm just going to go over about a finger and I'm going to kind of trace along those same lines that I made before. So about a finger apart and go ahead and follow the same lines. Excellent. And then I'll connect these with a curved line. Great. Okay. Next, let's add the door. So we're going to add a rectangle door in the middle of our house. So I'm going to go up, over, and down. Looks good. And then around there, I'm going to make a skinny little bumpy line that goes all the way around.
there. Kind of like frosting. Good. Okay, and I want to add some of these frosting lines up on my roof too. So I'm going to make a line that dips down and then goes right back up. And I'm going to kind of follow the slant of my roof. So I'll start up here and it doesn't always have to be even. There. Now I'll do the other side. There. It kind of looks like icicles. Good job. Um, I think I'm going to add some gum drops up here on this on the top of my roof. To do that, I'm just going to make a bunch of hills like that. Okay, make a bunch of little hills on the top of your roof. And let's do both sides. These will be all different colored gumdrops when you're done. Good. Um, we can add a circle shape up here. It'll be kind of like a window. We'll draw a nice big circle. But everything in a gingerbread house is made out of candy, right? So this will be like one of those hard candy mints. Those red and white ones or green and white. And they always have kind of a design in the middle, like a swirly. So we can, you can either make a swirl where your circle gets smaller and smaller as you go in, or you can make a straight line across here and then make an X shape. Like that. And then we'll color red, white, red, white, red, white. And while we're at it, we can make two smaller shapes like that next to our door. My door got pretty big, so my other circles are going to be smaller. A line and then an X. And I can do a little doorknob, a little circle. Great. Um, our candy canes are missing something. What are they missing? Stripes. So we don't want to make up and down or side to side stripes. We want them to be kind of curved and diagonal. All right. So watch how I do that. I make it a little bit curved so it's not a straight line. And I'm going diagonal. And then I'll do that all throughout the candy cane. And I end up kind of turning my curve there and then I can do this side a curvy diagonal line and do your best it does not have to be perfect awesome I love it um if you want you can add a chimney up here so that would be like making a rectangle shape. So a line going up and down, a line going across, and then another line going down. And we can make some icicle frosting lines too, like we did with the roof. When you go up and down. Good. And let's add some gum drops by our house, down here by our door, like a rainbow shape. And I'm gonna add some dots in there because those gumdrop candies have sugar drops on them and or sugar flakes. So if I draw some dots on there, it looks more like candy. And if you want, you can add more on the sides. All right, maybe we'll add a little pathway too. I'm going to draw some rectangles and they're not directly under the door here. They're gonna be a little off. 
and then the next one will be a little bit off. There. Okay, what do you think? I love it. Your gingerbread house looks awesome. Remember to sign your name on the bottom or on the top. And now for the really fun part. You get to add beautiful colors. And remember, candy is all different kinds of colors. So it doesn't have to be anything in particular. You can use any colors you want. Just make it beautiful. Good job.